Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss a poem named My Shadow, written by Robert Louis Stevenson. So, let's get started. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me, and what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me from the heels up to the head and I see him jump before me when I jump into my bed. So in this stanza, the poet expresses his opinion that he finds his shadow as a companion or you can say as a partner who follows him wherever he go and he wonders that what is the use of it just more than he can see it. Then he added that his shadow looks just like him from the tip to the toe. And when he is about to jump on his bed, his shadow jump before him. Alright, let's read further. The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow, not at all like proper children, which is always very slow. For he sometimes shoots up taller like a rubber ball as he sometimes gets so little that there is none of him at all. Now in this stanza, the poet says, My shadow has a habit to grow much more than me. And he finds this thing really funny because this is just not like how a child grows in real. Because in reality, a child grows slowly, not immediately. Then he added that sometimes I wonder that he suddenly shoots up like a rubber ball. You all must have played with a rubber ball at least once. So when you throw it on the floor or the ground, it bounces high, right? Isn't it? So... With this, poet has related his shadow. So shadow change their size when the place from where the light is coming is moved. So shadow grow bigger when you move closer to the light from where the light is coming and it grows smaller when you move far from the light. Okay. That's why the poet feels that sometimes his shadow becomes so little like nothing. Alright, this is all about this poem. I hope you enjoyed and understood it. Now moving on to its back exercise. In part A, you have to complete the given sentences from the poem. It's like, I have a little shadow that follows me every, everywhere I go. He is like me from the heels up to the head. He jump before me when I jump into my bed. Okay. Then in part B, few shadows created with the help of hands are given to you. You have to identify the shape of animal with the help of box given in the middle okay clues are given in the middle you have to take help of all these clues so first picture is of first shadow is of a wolf fine then second one is of a rabbit third one is an elephant fourth is a dog fifth one is a camel sixth one is a cow fine Okay, now moving on to the homework part. This is a practice worksheet of comprehension given on page number 109. Okay, just do it in the book itself. Well, this is all about this video. Hope you liked it and found it helpful. Thanks for watching.